Philippines Expats Forums. Uh, I will tell you now, just be very careful with some of the people are very, very odd. Um, but you can find some very useful people on them as well. I also recommend going into the Yahoo groups. Um, the Yahoo groups have been around since, well, a lot of these forums, prior to the forums. Now, there is a bit of history between the forums as well, which most people probably aren't aware of because there were certain forums that originally existed and there was in in um, internal arguments between certain people they splintered off and Cebu Forum and other bits and pieces appeared and they splintered off again and there's little uh, little groupings of forums um, all I can say is just take them all with a pinch of salt because like anywhere in this world People do not get on, and there's a lot of false egos and false rivalry and um, ten foot tall mentality where they they dislike each other um, over trivial stuff. That, that's a bizarre thing. I mean, it, the, I mean, a while back I was like having some words with Paul off Cebu, uh, living in Cebu for him, but even that we dealt with face to face. You know, issues. If you've got any issues with something on the forum, don't get into the tittle-tattle thing that they do where they sit and argue with each other and everybody's involved in the thread and some are stoking the fire on purpose, etc. Just talk to them direct and get rid of the issues. Now, some of the issues that people have had have been quite severe, um, financially and other reasons. Um, but at the same time, this is where there's a bit of a warning in here we're dealing with the forums because like the legacy scandal all the information disappeared off the forums um, there's been other stuff like that <laughs> uh, various people I can't be bothered with dragging their names up because it is literally all in the past but just be aware of it for the future if somebody's flogging something don't expect to get any support from the forum if the forum is actually benefiting in some way um, because later on they may ban you and withdraw everything that was mentioned about the investment or whatever because it's gone sour uh, but for basic moving to the Philippines there's a lot of advice on there a lot of information it's, it's bits and pieces and you, you, you've just got to go through it bit by bit and you it's like YouTube you'll find some people are complete idiots or nutters other people you may not get on with but they they're good at what they're doing you know let's say somebody's into goat farming for example and you want to be a goat farmer and then you'll find people you get on with but have no other interests except for just generally bantering and happily just enjoying your time talking this is why the forums exist is to sort of get some of that connection going before you make the big move um, also it helps locate things because some of the expats are helpful and will go and say well don't go down that area because it's a bit of a slum or I know that uh, skyscraper you're looking at living in there's only about 10 people living in it you know there's all sorts of bits and pieces you can get out of some of the expat community that can be very very useful who to talk to at immigration you know because I, I deal with a chief prosecutor direct, so I don't really have any problems with immigration. But at the same time, there's no problem. I mean, I've done it before where I've said the process, because I've gone in like yesterday, and the process has changed since last year. It's like, okay, go in, go to the left, get your form, fill the form in, go to this woman, give her five pesos, let her photocopy it, take that form, take it to window one, and gone through that whole process. Because... You know, if you've been there the day before, you're up to date. Other people are still relying on last year's information, which is out of date. And I know it sounds a little, you know, not that important, but you turn up there in your shorts, for example, and they'll actually uh, not let you in because they changed the ruling. You're supposed to have smart dress, long trousers anyway, and long sleeve shirt. But a lot of people, because of the, the weather and the mobility issues, they don't, they just wear a t-shirt and shorts and then can get rejected then next month it's not an issue so these are the sort of things that the forums can be very useful for just keeping up to date on the little bits and pieces mm -hmm. my strongest advice though is a don't use them for investment and b 
do not use them for 100% gold dust advice. Uh, just take them as a reference point. If somebody says, well, in my opinion, be aware that is an opinion, but often people speak as if the things are fact, but it's still their opinion. Um, so just take it with a pinch of salt. Take them as a single source of information and then look for other sources because a lot of time people won't go and research anything. But Yahoo Groups has got a lot of information um, that goes back years. Goat farming and pig farming and all that sort of stuff. The Yahoo Groups have probably got more uh, information and people that are actually doing it than you'll find on the forums. Because on the forums, generally people like to say, there's no money in there, you ain't going to make any money. Um, and what's your experience and knowledge? Nothing. But just be aware, forums are forums. Don't use them for, like I say, gold dust advice. Just take them as a single source or one of five that you may need to actually make an informed decision. All right, thanks for watching.